Hey guys, I'm going to show you a video. I'm going to do a video on my jewelry collection and I'm going to show you the jewelry box first. I've um, looked a little bit through it already and I was a little overwhelmed by everything I have in this box because I have a ton of watches and I hope I can get through the video without boring you to death or without running out of time. But this is a huge jewelry box. It's handmade. I bought it at the Goodwill a few years ago, about 20 years ago. As you can see, it's very deep, it's very wide, it's very heavy and very well made. It's obviously handmade. It's made like a, sort of like a pirate's booty chest, I guess. It's got some, some little rings on here on the side. And I'm just going to get started with what was at the top. I thought mostly my good watches were at the top, but I ran into some, some junk as well. Alright, let's start with the pink. Faux Croc, really cute watch, silver. It's running, it's Armatron brand. Let me check. Yes. And um, it's got sort of blue, luminous hands. It's a really cute watch. I hope you can see that. I have a political button that I won't show you so we don't, so we can stay friends. And then I have a fossil. This was a broke. This just recently broke. I wore it for a couple of years. Got it on eBay. Good buy on it. Uh, it flashed the Longhorn logo, which is a steer and uh, or plain sort of a mirror finish. So it would flash if you'd want it, or you could just leave it on the steer. Then I ran into some earrings. I was supposed to only show you watches, but I ran into these cute little earrings that I hadn't seen in years. My sister got these a few years ago, and um, to her they were totally 60s so she just loved them and she thought I would like them and I did. I have a pretty Timex watch that um, gives off that date just look but of course it's not. It's a rose colored face, it's stainless steel, works really well. I've got a cheap, actually this was one, you can hear how cheap, a one at a um, game that my husband was playing at the carnival with my uh, daughter and they won that. I'll probably put it on eBay. I have a whole bunch of brooches that showed up. I'll show you one. And it's sort of a eye care ribbon or something. I don't know. So I'm not going to go into that. I just want to show you the watches today. This is a big leather band watch. Brown. Nice silver face on that. I have a broken Armatron. It was my son's digital. I have to get it fixed because I love digital watches. I have two of my favorite digital watches that I wear every day. One's a Baby G and the other is just an Armatron. I keep them one hour apart so I don't have to worry about uh, resetting because uh, I'm not very good at that. This is a pink watch, pink leather band, silver face, runs like a charm. Nice watch. This is what I like to do with some of my silk scarves is put them on watches and I'll just double wrap it front and back and I can actually tie this myself into a knot at the back. And I usually do a better job of this and I'm not in a hurry for a video. But I can do that like that and and then I just sport it like that. I really like it. Oh, can you see that? There you go. It doesn't have a long tail when I finish up with it. It's got a really small tail. I just didn't do it that good right now. That well. Okay, I have a collection of swatch pop watches. This is a hot pink one. This is a polka dot one. I don't know where the face went. It was here a minute ago. We'll find it later. This is another satin, or silk rather, scarf that uh, I tie in the back. This one I just do with a bow. It's not long enough to double wrap it. But I'll just do a little knot on the back. And uh, it's very comfortable. I like the way it looks. Then I have this pink one that I found at the thrift store. Running like a charm. Very pretty. I have also uh, Betty, Betty Boop. My, my husband found this at the garage sale. 
at a garage sale in the neighborhood. I don't know. I'm not crazy about Betty Boop, Betty Boop, but he brought it. And we'll put it on eBay later. This is a very feminine diamond watch. It's just gold tone, but it looks really pretty. Another Swatch watch, a black one with a scratch guard on it. Black, white face. This was one that I showed you in my eye, and I think I showed it on the outfit of the day. I'm not sure. But it's got some really nice side. They remind me of horse bits, so it gave off a Gucci, Gucci vibe to me, and I really like it. It's really pretty. It runs very nice. Watch. I bought a battery for it, got it at the thrift store, bought a battery for it, and it works. This is a black and white snake skin with a zebra motif on the face. Then I bought this man's watch. I don't know what brand it is, but it has one of those little turning dials at the top, and I really liked it, but it had a rubber band, sort of a big, bulky, burly, masculine-looking band that I didn't like. So I juxtaposed it with this grow green polka dot, and I like the way it looks that way. Then I got, um, I showed this before in one of my videos. It's a charm bracelet. It's three curb chains with some charms, and some charms are missing, but it's still cute. And I wear it with my other charm bracelet, so you can't really tell. It's got a pineapple, a padlock, and some other cute charms, an apple. I really like that. And even the face is glossy and shiny with some rhinestones inside the face. Then, oh, I have a whole bunch of bands that I bought one time at the thrift store. Braided bands. They were like 99 cents each, so they're by Guess, too, so they're leather. One's black, one's brown, and one's plain black. Uh, here's the face to the pop watch that was missing. This one's not working. It worked for a while, and it's just seen better days. The guy that does my... Um, jewelry and sells me batteries. Uh, tried a battery on it, tried a fresh battery on it, he said it didn't run. And this one still runs, so I'm happy with that, that I still have at least that one. This is a very nice um, watch that I got on eBay. It's a little too big for me and I haven't had its size, but it's just a fun watch. It's got rhinestones and it runs. I've had it three years and it's still running and I did not pay over $10 for this watch on eBay. Very nice. Um, I have a kitty cat watch I found at the thrift store. I have a Flick Flack. This is the same company as Swatch. And this, these watches were made for children back in the 80s. But I always liked them. I just thought they were so cute. And they do fit me. I have a small wrist, so they, were, they fit me. And this one, I just noticed, it's been put away for so long. I just noticed it has a puzzle motif. And you know I'm all about autism because that's where I work. I work at a clinic, mental health clinic, and we treat children with autism. So now I really like it even more. I can't wait to wear it again. Here's another flick flack. This one's a little worse for wear there. But uh, it still runs. I have Powerpuff Girls. My middle daughter was a Powerpuff fan. And when I saw this at the thrift store, I had to have it. And uh, Timex, just a plain plastic white face with red second hand. Just love the look of that utilitarian watch. And you can't go wrong with Timex. Uh, what else do I have? I have a stretch watch with some blue. Sort of looks like Mother of Pearl, but it's a baby blue. And then it has, a, I guess, a plastic marble looking face, uh, bezel on the face with a white face. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, here's a pretty um, Elgin. This is a man's watch. It's a wind-up watch. Love it. My uncle gave me this, and um, I think I showed in one of the videos the Dick Tracy watch that he also gave me. He was a hoarder, just like me. And he let me have this, and I love it. Every time I wear it, it's just so elegant and pretty. And it is a man's watch, but I put it on a on a brown leather band, and the band has gotten seasoned as well, and it's just really nice. I love it. I have a watch that says Lucky, but I don't think it's Lucky brand. I don't know. It's plastic. It has black 
and purple flames on and it's got a really glossy purple face it's just a fun little watch you know when you wear scrubs five days a week and you're the kind of person that usually likes to wear different outfits and have fun with fashion and then you're stuck wearing scrubs all day your only alternative is um, jewelry and watches so that's what I do here's the Timex watch with a really pretty rose gold face it's a stainless steel band I don't know if I showed that to you first off but anyway there it is and I had another one I think that's why I got confused because I have this one here it is two Timexes this one is a blue face same kind of band these things will outlive us all they just don't stop and um, let me see what else I have oh here's a biker looking stud thing no longer works I'm gonna make a pile of all the watches that don't work because they're gonna go on the auction block people can do anything you know they, they repair them or they make arts and crafts out of them this is another one that doesn't work it's got a faux snake band blue still a pretty watch a digital watch that doesn't work I don't even know where it came from probably the thrift store but I don't remember the story or anything about it um, another eBay fine two dollars probably two dollars two in the morning that's usually the way it works and uh, it's gold tone dressy watch it's a little big on me as well so I don't wear it as much as I would like let me see what else I have here uh, let me open this drawer here okay here we have a Timex another bold looking man's watch some of these I have not even checked to see if they work so um, I don't remember if they were working or if they need a battery now or they will they um, were replaced once and then they have to be done again I think that's what I need to do with this one I don't think I've even checked it here is a um, Brighton watch band and it's sort of a faux croc it's a little rusty I probably need to clean that up it's a shiny croc it's really pretty I could wear that just by itself I like that I think I'll put that on right now you know I'm uh, sort of a Christmas tree I just can't stop putting things on okay this I love this Casio I found it at a thrift store it was running for a good three or four years my daughter took it from me my 20 year old took it from me for a while she wore it for about a year to school she loved it as well uh, it gave off that geeky vibe that kids love and um, now it sits here I'll probably put it in the non-working pile there uh, American flag I need to go check and see if I can put a battery on that I haven't done it yet no not running yet okay these are the ones I'm going to check okay this is our another sports team the Houston Rockets we all got these fossil watches when they won the championship so I've got a black one and I've got a brown one I think one was my son's and one was mine and you know how it is when you go crazy with sports uh, Barbie my sister gave my daughter this when they were when she was probably 13 or 14 um, my eldest daughter who's 26 so this is a, a fossil watch and I'll have to get it checked because it's got a really pretty vintage Barbie face on it and it's not running right now but I think it will run if I put a battery in it I just haven't done it that is my daughter's Barbie watch uh, just a silver bracelet half bracelet watch it's it needs a cleaning as well this was running when I bought it I haven't had the battery replaced again I really need to just oh this is a story this is a story here I have to put this band I have to put another band on it this is a watch that my mother bought me when I was probably 14 back in the early 70s I believe or probably late 60s no yeah early 70s because well anyway and it's clear acrylic it used to have the bracelet sort of a, a hinged uh, bracelet also acrylic and clear it's isn't it gorgeous it's a wind-up watch so it still runs beautifully it's 17 jewel it's a good little piece we got it at a nice department store one day I'll never forget it and um, 
I've been I've probably replaced the band two times already the bands just don't last as long as the watch so I have to get another band on it it doesn't have any numbers on it it just has lines across it it's made by Dynasty and it says 17 jewels totally love this watch mom bought it for me just because we were shopping and let me see oh here's a cute little chunky bracelet watch these are all just faux fun jewelry it is not running right now I have to check that out another black croc watch it's gonna go in the uh, lot on eBay it's got it's gotten a pretty weathered look there so I think I'm ready to let that one go into a into a lot auction this is fun this is a Hot Wheels watch and it's supposed to look like a rubber tire and I just loved it of course I collect Hot Wheels as well so I was gonna put that in a Hot Wheels auction and uh, it doesn't have any kind of opening you just slip it on it's really cute and it says Hot Wheels it's got the Hot Wheels motif and it's digital and this is another swatch I don't know how this swatch band is all by itself it's black yeah. oh here's a darling darling watch this is by what is that brand Roxy but it's made to look like those 1960s Mad Men. The reason I say Mad Men is because they just remind me of my mom and my my mom's friends. And my mom's friend had a watch like this, but hers had diamonds on it. It's just the the satin roping. And this is so tiny, it does not even close on me. And I have a small wrist, but it's really really pretty. And it runs as well. Another thrift store find and I think that's about it guys I don't want to go too long because I think I have shown you all my watches tonight all right and I showed you the big box and you and I got organized tonight thanks